Hi, my name is Sonia Massari and I'm going to explain what is meaningful food for me, which is the piadina. And the piadina is a traditional flatbread um, originally coming from Romagna. And uh, I'm Italian, I'm actually from Romagna. And uh, I'm, this is like very typical from where I was born. And uh, what is so meaningful for me is because uh, he reminds me uh, my family, my youth uh, there, and my summer specifically in, in Romania. Uh, when I'm thinking about the Piadina, I'm thinking about the Piadineria, so the kiosk where you used to go there and take your Piadina, which is kind of street food. Um, anyway, every time that I show this picture to my students, they believe uh, it's like Mexican bread or like pita. They say, oh, it's like pita. It's not pita. It's piadina, which is very different. I don't eat piadina out of my place. I don't eat piadina out of my region. I know this is like weird, but uh, I actually think the only good piadina can be made uh, there, so in Romania area. I would like to explain the feeling and the taste that Piadina has in my real language instead of English because it's quite easy when you use your language to explain how you like a food and actually I think diet will be amazing. There are some words related to the Piadina that are very regional like Teja, La Teja, which is uh, where in the past, the, the kind of pot that we use in the past to prepare the piadina. Now anymore, they do on a flat stuff, but the, the, the way how actually we call the piadina, not piadina, but just piada or, you know, the pieda in dialect, it's very, remind me a lot about my, my past. And the story about this, uh, I think, the best story that I can actually tell you is related to my pregnancy. During pregnancy, I could not eat salami. And the best piadina ever is with piadina with salami inside. And every time for nine months, I was like, you know, explaining how I was missing the piadina with salami to my boyfriend. So after having my baby, the first things that I had was a piadina with salami at the hospital in Ravenna, which is the best place for having piadina, by the way. Um, what I used to do, I'm traveling a lot, I work a lot uh, abroad. I used to buy my piadina there in a kiosk, and my favorite kiosk in Emilia Romagna, in Romagna specifically, and I bring the piadina with me where I'm going, and I used to put at least 10, 20 pieces of piadina in my fridge and I use the piadina only for special occasion and if I have guests, I don't eat piadina by myself. I mean, I just need to celebrate something to use one of my precious piadina. And uh, that's it. I think that's everything related to how it looks like. It looks like that. It's very salty. It's very, seems like it's not light. It's made with salt, water, um, lard and flour, so it's not totally healthy and light, but I love it.